Thank you very much. It's great to be here with colleagues. Uh, for almost a decade uh, since I served on the committee in Washington that helped write the Affordable Care Act, uh, extremist ideologues have done everything they can think of to deny your right to get affordable health care. And my message in short is take full advantage immediately of the health insurance opportunity that these obstructionists would like to take away from you and your family. The Affordable Care Act does remain the law of the land despite everything that they've done in Congress and in the courts. It continues to represent the very best path forward to access health insurance and access a family physician. It offers the security of, of the daily possibility of a serious accident or illness. The Trump administration has been unceasing in its efforts to destroy the Affordable Health Care Act and it's a little bruised after being hit so many times, but nothing about what is happening in Washington. None of the tweets or the other political static, none of it denies your right to go out today and sign your family up for affordable health care. Open enrollment, as has been mentioned, has been shortened deliberately to narrow your opportunity to protect your family. But this is the reason we're here today because we're saying you don't wait. In fact, I think uh, foundation communities for every one of the eight or nine years that we've been doing this at various <coughs> locations, I've joined because they've led the way as they do on so many community services here in Austin in getting people enrolled. I think the first thing on your holiday shopping list should be buying for yourself and your family health care protection. And if you get that, there'll be good reason to give Thanksgiving just for that very reason. Trump has eliminated 84% of the funding to help navigate people through the complexity of all these different plans. I think, Walter, you said there are 54? Mm -hmm. 54 different choices to make. And thanks to the efforts locally and the leadership of foundation communities, there's somewhere one there to help you figure out which of those 54 plans is going to work best for your individual situation. Uh, whether it's out on airport where we did this last year across from uh, ACC at Highland Mall or out on Stastny Lane or just making that phone call, this is not difficult. But it is difficult if you're trying to do it all by yourself. Last year, 90% of the people that walked in or called foundation communities and asked for help, they qualified for federal assistance for the tax credits that are available under the law. And they found comprehensive insurance for an average of $77 a month. And now in 2020, for this next year, there's some even better options uh, that are available. Uh, every year, Foundation Communities has been there, and so they've developed the expertise about these plans. And in partnership uh, with HAM, keeping us the live music capital of the world and ensuring that the individual business people, like yourself, who are out there working individually or with a band, that they, as small businesses, they get access to health insurance and keep that music alive. One of the other uh, developments, particularly in the last year as part of Trump's attack on your right to get health insurance, is his promotion of junk insurance plans, short-term plans as an alternative to a marketplace plan. These plans are extremely misleading. Oh, they brag about a lot of things that they do. But if you look at the fine print, you learn that they do not offer essential health benefits in many cases, whether it is cover maternity, mental health, prescription drugs, all kinds of treatment. And often in the fine print, there is a denial of coverage for people with pre-existing conditions, which can be anything from a birth uh, d uh, defect uh, to uh, domestic abuse. We don't have that problem anymore in the marketplace. Junk insurance is widely advertised, and that's exactly what it is, junk. It's a bad choice for consumers. Another way the Trump administration is constantly stoking fear is with all of its anti-immigrant hysteria. And they have talked about and tried to implement something called the public charge rule to try to discourage immigrants. It's very important to remember that for those immigrants who are here as a permanent resident or a green card holder, 
you're eligible to sign up in the marketplace. And the public charge rule, even if it is firmly in place and not blocked by the courts as it should be, it will not, you will not be affected. Your rights as a green card holder or a permanent resident will not be harmed uh, if you participate in the marketplace. So again, in short, don't let the politics in Washington keep you from getting covered right here in Texas. Today, your family can say a firm no to those who want to take away your rights and yes to protection from injuries from a car accident this afternoon or a dread diagnosis next week at the doctor's office. We're fighting hard to protect the Affordable Care Act, but none of those efforts will make any difference if you don't take advantage of the rights you have. So go today or as soon before December the 15th as you possibly can and make full use of this important right. Thanks a lot.